And now this is assignment 8. And the theorem is, if W1 and W2 are finite dimensional subspace of a vector space V, such that their intersection is 0, then dimension of their sum is equal to dimension of W1 plus dimension W2. So let's start with the proof. Uh, we have to uh, mention first the basis for W1. And let's say the basis for W1 is, let's take the same basis. Sorry. All right. Thank you. Uh, so let's uh, take the same basis as V1, V2, V3 up to Vm. These are the basis for W1. As we have done in the previous assignment. And basis for W2 we have taken in W1, W2, W3 up to Wn. Okay, so these are the basis. Then the subspace is spanned by the vectors. Which subspace? W1 plus W2. So W1 plus W2. This subspace is spanned by the vectors V1, V2, V3 up to Vm. Then W1, W2, W3 up to Wn. Right? So the subspace is their sum. W1 plus W2. This subspace is spanned by all these vectors. Required to prove. First thing is done that this is spanned by all these vectors. Required to prove that these all vectors are linearly independent. That's it. Right? So. Let's take all the scalars again. For V1, V2, V3, I will take alpha 1s and for W1, W2, I'm taking beta 1, beta 2, right? So alpha 1, V1, let's write the linear combinations with these scalars up to alpha M, V, M plus beta 1, W1 plus beta 2, W2, so on beta n w n this is equal to zero now taking the summation part all right uh let's uh, write as it is without summation right okay i'm taking this alphas to the other side with negative sign so writing here negative of alpha v1 Alpha 1 V1, Alpha 2 V2, Alpha 3 V3, up to so on, Alpha M V M. This is equal to Beta 1 W1 plus Beta 2 W2, so on, Beta N W N. Is this thing is clear? Okay. Now all these W1, W2 up to Wn, these forms are vector, uh, these forms the basis for W2. So their linear combinations also belongs to W2. Right? And this implies because this W1 plus W uh, this beta 1, W1 plus beta 2, W2, this is also equal to negative of all these linear combinations. So, negative of alpha 1 V1 plus alpha 2 V2 plus alpha 3 V3, so on, alpha M V M. This whole linear combination with negative sign belongs to W2, right? And because V1, V2, V3, Vm, all these vectors forms the basis for W1 also. So, their linear combinations with negative sign also belongs to W1 in itself, right? So, this implies, can I write that this linear combination with negative sign belongs to intersections of W1 and W2? Yes. 
So I am writing now negative of alpha 1 V1 plus alpha 2 V2 plus alpha 3 V3. You can also write them as summation in summation form also. This is belonging to W1 intersection W2. And it is uh, given to us that their intersection is 0. Right? Which means negative of alpha 1 V1 plus alpha 2 V2 plus alpha 3 V3. So on alpha M V M is equal to 0. Because this linear combination belongs to this intersection. And what kind of element is present in the intersection that is 0, right? So, which means this complete linear combination nothing but 0. So, this implies neglecting this negative sign or taking to this negative sign to the other side. It is already now positive. So, this linear combination is equal to 0 and because if you notice that v1 v2 v3 vm all these vectors forms the basis for w1 so these are already linearly independent which means all these scalars alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 so on alpha m is equal to 0 right so From one, uh, let me mark this as, I have already marked this as one. Now because all these alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3, alpha m are zero, so this complete path is zero. We have remaining part now, this. So from, if, if this part is zero, from one we can write as beta 1, uh, w1 plus beta 2, w2 up to beta and w1 is equal to 0. So, I am writing from 1. So, on beta n. This is equal to 0 from 1. Okay, now we also know that W1, W2, W3, Wn, these forms the basis for W2, which means now beta1, beta2, beta3, beta n is also equal to 0, right? Because W1, W2, W3, Wn forms the basis for W2, so these are already linearly independent, so all these scalars are 0. So as W1, W2, W3 up to Wn are linearly independent. Why these are linearly independent? Because these are the basis for W2. So this implies beta1, beta2, beta3 all these scalars is equal to 0. Right? Now as alpha1 alpha 2, alpha 3, so on alpha m and beta 1, beta 2, beta 3, so on up to beta n. All scalars are 0. This implies from 1, all alpha i's, all beta i's are 0. So from 1 can I say that v1, v2, v3, vm, w1, w2 up to wn all are linearly independent. So v1, v2, v3 up to vm, w1, w2, w3 up to wn. These are Linearly independent from 1. And you can write this as 2. So from 1 and 2 we can say this. Right. So therefore 
these green colored vectors and blue colored vectors do you remember the diagram can i can i draw that again if this is your w1 this sorry because intersection is zero if this this is w1 and this is w2 so w1 is having all green colored vectors as v1 v2 v3 up to v m as the basis for w1 and this w2 is having all blue colored vectors w1 w2 up to wn which forms the basis for w2 right and we have proved that all these vectors together are linearly independent and w1 plus w2 are spanned by these vectors their sum are spanned by these vectors so therefore this is just for your understanding i have drawn these different different and uh, so these is these forms the basis for w1 plus w2 now because these are the basis this forms the basis for w1 plus w2 what is the dimension for w1 plus w2 then number of vectors m plus n right so this dimension of w1 plus w2 is equal to m plus n and m is nothing but the number of vectors present in the basis for w1 and n is nothing but the number of vectors present in the basis for w2 so what is m it is actually the dimension of w1 and what is n because these are n in numbers so it is the dimension for w2 right what is the dimension of the subspace it is the number of vectors present in the basis of that subspace so number of vector present in w1 is m so it is a m is the dimension of w1 and what is n the number of vectors present in the basis of w2 so i'm writing this as a dimension of w2 right so dimension we have proved that dimension of w1 plus w2 is equal to dimension of w1 plus dimension of w2 provided the intersection of the subspace is equal to 0 right okay thank you so much